Um, this is going to be a different kind of video. Because this is just me. I have no scripts. I have nothing. Um, I wanted to talk about the leaked channel awesome document. I haven't got any insight or anything, anything to add. I don't know anything about the workings that go on there, but for years I've heard certain things about the Walker Brothers um, from other producers who've worked with them, and in all honesty, uh, I thought they were just jokes. I thought they were jokes that all the producers were making at each other's expense. I didn't know that the Walker Brothers inspired those jokes with their own words. Doug Walker and Rob Walker and the Channel Awesome team inspired me a lot uh, as a young man and even as a kid. I, I loved their work. I loved a lot of Nostalgia Critics content and I honestly feel like uh, he's dead I've never felt this way before but I feel like the man's dead to me um, because I can never watch any of the content again without knowing that loads of pain and frustration humiliation, fear, bullying, and whatever else was going on in the background. Behind the laughter, there was just unnecessary torment, and it goes against everything the show claimed to be about. I find that detestable. To the point that I'm actually looking at myself now. I'm realising that several points I've made mistakes on this channel. I've not responded to criticism in the best light. Whether it was mocking uh, somebody through channel shaming or basically having recurring jokes based around criticism um, that I just simply didn't agree with. I keep asking people to put their criticism forward but then that's what I do and it kind of bothers me that I've not seen this sooner. Someone tried to point it out to me, but because he was basically resorting to childish insults, I dismissed him, but he was right. I've not responded to criticism in the best possible way, and I can do better. So, I apologise for that. I really do. And I'm glad that this came out this whole Channel Awesome thing because it's actually inspired me to be better than them. I hope that one day I can look back over everything I do, both as a writer and as someone who makes pro uh, projects on this site, and say that I did it better. I want to do it better. And sometimes that's not enough, sometimes it is, but I think at the end of the day, it's kind of shaking to be honest, that the idea that you can do wrong, you know, and not realise it until it's way too late, and every single instance that I've read on the Google Doc, which I'll link for those of you who are confused as to what the fuck I'm talking about, um... <laughs> A lot of that stuff is just not listening to people. When they're trying to tell you that you're doing something wrong, that you are hurting them, you don't listen. And that's how people get hurt. And that's how they stay hurt. Uh, I'll be doing my end of series wrap up and I hope to address some things that I've done wrong specifically as I go through my old videos. Um, but until then... Um, I'm hoping that inspiration comes out of this rather than pain. 